Aquabound's Ray series of kayak paddles are some of the best selling kayak paddles in the world for two big reasons. Number one, there are a variety of styles and models to choose from to accommodate different styles of paddling and types of paddlers. Two, they're the lightest and most durable paddles on the market in their price point. When choosing a Ray paddle, there are three decisions you need to make. The first decision being what style of Ray paddle to get. You have three choices. There's the Manta Ray, Sting Ray, and Eagle Ray. And all three have different blade shapes and sizes to accommodate different types of paddling. The Manta Ray is the largest of the paddles. It offers the most power and control. It's ideal for paddlers with a high angle stroke, for paddlers paddling bigger boats, for bigger paddlers, or for kayak anglers. Slightly smaller than the Manta Ray is the Stingray. The Stingray is often considered the jack of all trades of the Ray series. And so not surprisingly, it's the most popular of the Ray paddles. It's an efficient paddle for almost all paddling conditions and the smaller blades reduces the strain on the body. It's also available with a smaller shaft to accommodate smaller hands, which is particularly nice for women and children. Now, the last of the Ray models is the Eagle Ray. The Eagle Ray has long and narrow blades, which is ideal for low angle paddling or for sea kayakers who prefer a low impact paddling style. Now, once you've chosen the style of paddle you're gonna use, you then need to decide on the model, which relates to the material that the paddle is made out of. And this has the biggest impact on the price of the paddle. Now, in general terms, the more expensive a paddle is, the lighter it is, and the more durable it is. Aquabound's Ray series, there are four models to choose from. You've got the aluminum, fiberglass, hybrid, and carbon models. The aluminum model is the cheapest and the heaviest of the paddles. They have aluminum shafts and highly durable nylon blades reinforced with fiberglass fibers. Now, these aluminum paddles are totally adequate paddles if you're just gonna be doing some the occasional mild recreational paddle. But if you're gonna be doing longer paddles or paddling more regularly, then it's worth upgrading a little. For $20 more, you can get yourself into the fiberglass paddle. Although the blades are the same, the shaft is now made out of fiberglass, which makes it a little lighter and a little higher performance. The next step up is more significant, the hybrid paddle. Hybrid paddles come with a carbon shaft, which is much lighter and stronger. These paddles feel great in your hands and are perfect for more challenging paddling conditions. Now, Far into the spectrum, the highest end paddle is the Carbon Ray. The Carbon Rays are the cream of the crop. They have a carbon shaft. They have carbon fiber reinforced nylon blades. Now these paddles are the lightest. They're the strongest, the most durable, and the most powerful of the paddles. They're also designed to handle pretty much any paddling condition. Once you've decided on the style and model of paddle you're gonna use, the final decision is whether you're gonna choose a two-piece or a four-piece paddle. Now, a four-piece paddle is great if you're gonna be flying, because it'll break down into four pieces and pack into virtually any bag. But for most people, a two-piece paddle is ideal. Now, a two-piece paddle, where it connects, the connection system is called the ferrule system. And Aquabound has a number of ferrule systems to choose from. The aluminum and fiberglass models all come with a three-hole button ferrule system, which allows you to put the paddle together with no twist or with 60 degree left control or right control. Now the hybrid and carbon paddles offer more choices. The TLC ferrule is a great upgrade that lets you choose from a variety of twist options. But Aquabound's new PosiLock ferrule system is the ultimate connection. The PosiLock ferrule system is very simple. You simply line up the arrow with the degree of feather that you want and then click it together. It's got a bomb-proof, wiggle-free connection. You then, to release it, you then press both buttons and pop it out. It's as simple as that. 
So hopefully that simplifies your decision-making process when choosing a Ray paddle. What I can tell you is that whatever Ray paddle you choose, you're not gonna be disappointed. For more information on any of the Ray paddles, visit aquabound.com.